Welcome back. So this segment's going to be really hard. It's different from the others. It's um, a little personal. Something you may not know about me is that I'm a widow of recency. And I wanted to take a few minutes to talk about Jaron, my partner who passed away this year. Um, he deserves to be talked about, and he's someone who you should know. And tonight is the 10-year anniversary of our first date. And I think I loved him from the first moment I saw him. I understand why Prince Harry is so protective of Meghan. When COVID happened, it sort of made seeking the solace of justice for him, which we still do not yet have, almost impossible. I've sort of been fighting a one-man army in that regard or a one-man effort and a one-man war here in Seattle to make that happen. Days after his passing, I spoke with the police officer who was in charge at the investigation at the scene where he had passed. I didn't find out for about two days. And he told me on the phone that, because he was gay, essentially, that he was not worth his time to reopen the investigation when I had questions about it. And so... Since he was so undignified, I would like to take this segment and dignify someone who is more than worth the effort and tell you a little bit about who Jaron Michael Nielsen is. And he is Canadian, by the way, born in Fredericton, New Brunswick, so he's one of ours. <laughs> oh, Jaron, I miss you every single day in every single way. When he was a student, at Bloomsburg University in Pennsylvania. He was president of the environmental group on campus, Helping Our Planet Earth, or HOPE, the president of HOPE. And he was so effective that he got the university board of trustees and the president to change a long-standing policy. In coal country, Pennsylvania, where coal is king, he got the university to commit to clean and renewable energy sources, geothermal heating, and solar panels, all while he was still a student and an undergrad. He was a force to be reckoned with. He marched on the U.S. Capitol at Power Shift and spoke, and then he got 12,000 people to change their course and then march in the White House at the street to demand change and environmental action from President Obama. When I first saw him, it was at an event, a political event, when I was district executive, um, arranged by Admiral Joe Sestak of the U.S. military, or the U.S. Navy. And when he walked in the room, it was like he floated on air. <laughs> Beautiful blonde hair. Shaggy-haired queen. <laughs> and these beautiful ocean eyes of blue. I think I loved him from the first moment I saw him. When his father flew out from Pennsylvania here to Seattle, we had his remains and we wrapped him in white linen so that the dignity that was taken from him, he would have back. We wrapped him in the flag of kingdom and crown and we held him up in the sun one more time before we put him in the ground. Our tears watered the earth. What Jaron taught me is that we must stand up and fight back. Be protective of the people we love, just like Prince Harry. But never, ever let the short-sightedness of something like politics blind us to what's really important. Never, ever let politics go further than the water's edge. Hold fast to the people you love. Remember what you're fighting for, just like Megan. But take the soft approach. And just like she did, sometimes you just simply have to say, I'm casting. I'm here to help. I miss him. So badly it hurts and registers a physical pain. It feels like I'm exploding and imploding all at the same time every minute of every day. 
and I think about him from the moment I wake up to the moment I go to sleep. Jaron Nielsen saved my life twice, once from a mugger with a gun in my face, and the next from a fire where he saved the life of me, our cat Sebastian, whom he rescued, as well as everyone in our building. He would give you the shirt off his back, even if he had to walk in the rain if he needed it. We could all do better to be more like Sharon Michael Nielsen. And although he wasn't a monarchist and we had many debates about it, he was truly royal in his own way. Jaren, wherever you are, in this grand universe, may God always keep you in his hand, just as I'll keep you in my heart. We'll meet again one day. I love you. This one's for you. Promise kept. Thank you for listening. This has been Royal in the Republic. My name is Kasten, and good night.